What is good, dev guys? It is your boy Kane, and I'm excited. I'm back with another tutorial, man. I got some, I got some new sauce for y'all today, and you know we're going at it raw. So let's get right into it. Let's not waste no time. Boom. Okay, so as the title says, I'm gonna show you how to get your animations in Blender from Blender to Unreal as fast and as efficiently as possible. All right, that's what we're doing today, baby. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is go to Epic's uh, GitHub account, um, and this will be the, the the landing page that you land on when you Google it. And you want to go to Blender Tools, but if you're having a problem right now, you see 404. This is not available. You need to go into your Epic account on your browser, go into Connections, and you need to make sure that your GitHub account is uh, uh, connected. So this will be this will be connect for you mine is already connected and once you hit this you'll sign into your github and then boom you, you, your account is linked and then you come back here and you refresh this page and boom you'll be able to see this so you want to go here you want to go to blender tools and please do not make the mistake i made don't download this this is the source code this is for the advanced users a simple folk we got to scroll down come right here right here to this download hyperlink you hit this and it'll take you to this page where it has all the latest and greatest. So you want to get this right here, the Cine UE 1.66. And for good measure, you want to go ahead and get this too. Just, just get both of the plugins or the add-ons. I keep calling them plugins, man. I'm so used to Unreal. Uh, but get both of the add-ons. This one here is so that you could bring in Unreal or other rigs inside of your uh, Blender project and they'll instantly be converted to a rigify rig so that you can edit whatever animation you bring so say you bring in a marketplace animation from unreal and you want to add a little bit of flair to it you'll use this plugin or add-on i'm sorry to import that rig and convert it to a rigify rig edit the animation however you see fit and then you use the send to unreal to send it right back to unreal it's a beautiful thing they're doing some crazy shit i don't know who thought of this but i love them all right uh so now we want to go into blender you know of course you want to do the typical uh install of your plugins go to uh, mine is probably in the downloads for the folder somewhere we have 1.66 you want to install that and 1.55 you want to install that Make sure you got those both installed and activated, of course. Hit the check marks on them and you're good, right? So you'll get this new pipeline joint right up here. And this is for exporting things straight out to Unreal. But first, before I do that, you need to go into an Unreal project and you need to do a couple of things. You need to come to plugins, go ahead and type in Python. And you need to enable this plugin and it will say restart the engine but don't do it yet all right don't do it yet listen to my voice don't do it yet um next thing you want to do is come edit editor preferences type pi and you want to in uh oh, oh I'm, I'm doing this wrong i'm doing this wrong you want to come to project settings and type pi and you want to enable remote execution. Tick this on. All right. Tick this on. Don't mess with anything else. Get out of here. Go to, to your editor preferences. This is what, I, what I'm supposed to do now. Go type in CPU and you want to tick this off. Use less CPU when in background because we want this to uh, this uh, Unreal Engine to hog up all the resources so they can process these assets fast. Right. So now that you got those going. Go ahead and move this to this screen. Let's do this. So I'm actually make this full screen for now so I can show you guys the process here. And I'm gonna show you guys the wrong process. So you see I have, uh, I have a, a rig and I have two weapons here that is bound to my rig. But I'm gonna show you a, a, a problem that I ran into earlier that uh, I'm going to show you how to fix. And uh, it's not it's not destructive. You can still come back and edit it and do all what you need to do. But so if you haven't already, you need to bake your animations onto your rig. Oh, whoops, we don't want to do that. So me, I have this rigify control rig. 
So what I would do is select whatever animation I want to bake, push it down to my NLA editor, and then uh, go back to object mode. I select my deform rig, which is the rig that Unreal is going to use. Go to pose mode, make sure I got all the bones selected. Press F3 or space, whatever your uh, key map is, and you want to bake the action down to this rig. And it'll give you a new action. All you do is title it, whatever you want the animation to be titled inside of Unreal, and push it down to your NLA editor. And this will allow the plugin to read these uh, strips and send out all of these simultaneously, bro. Simultaneously. You hear that word? I meant it. All right. So it's going to be quick. So we're basically done here. All we need to do is go here, export, send the unreal. We don't need to change anything. We don't need to send over a rest. We don't need to do this. We don't need to send over the rest position, then come back after that's finished and send over each animation one by one. We don't need to do that because say you send out a regular FBX. If you, if you export a regular FBX, I'm going to show you that. Uh, the animations come out trash. Okay, so your animations will be called this, even though the animation is called this, right? First of all, and things could go wrong. So let's just go ahead and do it. The do it. The let me move this to the side real quick. Uh, 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 I hate this. Move that to the side. Hit pipeline. Export. Send to Unreal. This is the this is the mistake that I made earlier. So I sent it to Unreal. Don't pay attention to that not responding. It's thinking. It's going to um, process my assets inside of Unreal now. And you see the uh, the uh, the transfer is pretty quick. Okay. Uh, you can see it came into this untitled category folder. I'll show you why. It's in untitled, untitled asset. And you see I got I got my skeletal mesh right there. And then I have a folder called animations, but you see, look, my animations are fucked up. You feel me? Why is that? I, I like, why is this not working? This is exactly how they show us how to do it in the other YouTube tutorial. Um, but what happens here is that a, a skeleton gets created for each blade and the arms rig, which kind of messes up the data, right? So, that's that's not good. And we got this right here. And for us OCD people who like to have things organized in our project, untitled category, untitled asset is kind of trash. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and delete that. I'm going to show you guys how to fix that right now. Um, so the problem is, and I don't know why it's an issue, is that these meshes are reading separate meshes and it's given the bone that's assigned to each mesh to the mesh separately i don't know why but to counteract that all you have to do is select all your meshes and join them together now i know you're thinking like damn i want uh my meshes are separate is that gonna mess up my animations what if i want to come back and edit my animations yeah well Everything's still the same. These meshes are just joined together. So all you would have to do is go into edit mode, select, select it, and just clear the select, uh, uh, unparented by selection. And then you can get right back to doing more animations. But right now, just to get it out of the project and to test your animations out, you have to join these together. So we got that. And now we try it again. We go ahead and export, but this time go to advanced dialogue. Let me show you guys something that's really beautiful here. You can set up your folder structure. So game is basically your content folder and say, I want this to be my sent sin to unreal and just give it a slash directory. That's the folder. I want all my meshes to go in and my animations. I want them to go into this same folder, but 
can I select can I select all this please I want to go into this same folder but a folder called animations and all you do is hit okay but you can go in here you can uh if you if you had a mesh that wasn't only the form bones like if you made your rig yourself you didn't use rigify and uh your bone you had extra bones that were control bones you could select here only the form bones make sure you select only the form bone because it'll bog your rig down to have 90 goddamn bones when you only really got 60. so make sure you got this selected and all the rest of these settings are pretty much golden right so go ahead press ok and it'll do some thinking it'll do some processing Okay, so if we go back to our Unreal project, enlarge that, you'll see we have a send to Unreal folder. And you'll see our mesh is set up exactly how we want it. If we go here, we got our skeletal mesh. Here, my hierarchy is kind of is, is flat because I, I was doing some squash and stretch stuff. Um, my animations, though, all look beautiful. All work. Everything is there. That's my idol. It might not look like much. Zoom in on that. And I can uh, just to make sure everything is up to up to par. Let me make sure everything's up to par. Okay, you see the scale is correct. If I look at the scale compared to to this, the scale is correct. The mundo, and we got our animations inside of unreal now we can start building up an animation blueprint to start testing out how everything looks and how everything blends together inside the engine and it's a beautiful thing it it, it, it exports everything properly and it sets up a material for you um so if you had a material if i had my material for these weapons it would have exported that as well man uh i can't explain how good this add-on is and I can't explain how fast you need to go and download it and start using it in your workflow today. So uh, I think that's all I got, man, other than like and subscribe. And I appreciate you for stopping by, man. Peace.